Okay, so now we're ready to consider uh, some examples of topologies. Let X be any set. Then the collection tau consisting of the empty set and the entire set only is the indiscrete topology on the set X. So we need to uh, demonstrate that the collection tau is a topology. First, very clearly, the empty set and the entire set are in the uh, collection tau. They are the only subsets in the collection tau. The second condition is that any arbitrary union of uh, subsets in the collection tau must once again be in the collection tau. So we look at the uh, union of the two distinct elements. The union of the empty set and the entire set is the entire set which is in the collection tau. And third, any finite intersection of the subsets in the collection tau must once again be in the collection tau. So once again we look at the intersection of the two distinct elements. The intersection of the empty set and the entire set is the empty set which is in the collection tau. And so the collection tau consisting of the empty set and the entire set only is a topology on the set X, which we call the indiscrete topology. Now the indiscrete topology is also called the trivial topology and this is because uh, it is the smallest uh, topology possible on a given set that is it is the most exclusive collection of subsets of a given set that constitutes a uh, topology on the set all right, so now, new definition. Let X be a countable set then the collection of subsets consisting of the power set of X, that is, every possible subset of the given set X, is the discrete topology. on the set X. Now we do not lose anything uh, by uh, insisting that the uh, set X be countable at this point. Later when we uh, study metric spaces on uncountable sets we will give another way to generate the discrete topology and that will involve showing that any uh, arbitrary subset is a union of some elements in a much smaller set that we call the basis uh, for the topology. So uh, again, uh, for now we will insist that the set X be uh, countable, uh, but we will not lose anything by doing so. Now uh, we need to prove that this uh, collection is a topology. So since the empty set is a subset of any set X, and the set X is certainly a subset of itself. We have that both the empty set and the entire set are in the power set. Second, an arbitrary union of subsets of the set X is itself a subset of the set X. And so uh, the second condition is satisfied. Third, a finite intersection
of subsets of the set X is itself a subset of the set X. And so the collection uh, consisting of all possible subsets, that is the power set of the set X, is a topology on the set X, which uh, again we call the discrete topology. And uh, the discrete topology is the largest topology possible on a given set X. That is, it is the most inclusive of, uh, of uh, collections of subsets of the set X. That is a topology on the set X. So new definition, let X be any set. and let the point P in the set X be a specified point then the collection tau consisting of the union of the set which contains the empty set with the set of all subsets of the set X such that the point P is in that subset and this collection tau is the particular point topology. So once again, we need to show that this collection tau is a topology. Now since the empty set is in the set which contains the empty set, which is a subset of the collection tau. The empty set is in the collection tau. And as the entire set is a subset of itself that contains the point, we have that the entire set is in the collection tau. So the first condition is satisfied. Both the entire set and the empty set are in the collection. Second, let the set containing the set's use of i, where i is in some indexing set i, be an indexed family. Of sets such that U sub i is in the collection tau for every index i. Then notice that each set U sub i is either the empty set or is a subset that contains the point P. So suppose that the point P is in the set U sub I for at least one index I. Then the point P is in the arbitrary union of those sets. And so the arbitrary union is a subset of the set X such that the point P is in that subset and this again is a subset of the collection tau. Otherwise the arbitrary union is the empty set which again is in the collection tau. So in either case, the arbitrary union of subsets in the collection tau is once again in the collection tau.
So third condition, let u sub 1 through u sub n be sets in the collection tau. Then once again, each set u sub i is either the empty set or is a subset of the uh, set X that contains the point P. Suppose that the point P is in the set U sub I for every index I. Then the point P is in the finite intersection of those sets. And so the finite intersection of those sets is a subset of the set X that contains the point P. And again, this is a subset of the collection tau. Otherwise, the finite intersection of the sets is the empty set, which once again is in the collection tau. So in either case, the finite intersection of subsets in the collection tau is once again in the collection tau. And so all three conditions are satisfied, and so the collection tau is a topology on the set X, and we call this the particular point topology. All right, so next we'll define a uh, similar topology. So we'll start off the same way. Let X be any set. And let the point P in the set X be some specified point Then the collection tau consisting of the union of the set which contains the entire set with the set of all subsets of the set X such that the point P is not in that subset is the excluded point topology. Okay, so we will show that this collection is a topology. Now since the entire set is in the set which contains the entire set, which is a subset of the collection tau, we have that the entire set is in the collection tau. And as the empty set is a subset of the set X that does not contain the point P, and this is a subset of the collection tau, we have that the, int uh, rather the empty set is in the collection tau. And so both the entire set and the empty set are both in the uh, collection tau, and so the first condition is satisfied. Second, let the sets U sub I, where I is in some indexing set I, B an indexed family of sets such that u sub i is in the collection tau for every index i. Then notice that each set u sub i is either the entire set or is a subset of x that does not contain the point P. So suppose that the point P is not in the set U sub I for any index I. 
then the point P is not in the arbitrary union and so the arbitrary union is a subset of the set X that does not contain the point P. And again, this is a subset of the collection tau. Otherwise, the arbitrary union is the entire set which is in the collection tau. So in either case, the arbitrary union of subsets in the collection tau is once again in the collection tau. Okay, so third condition. Let u sub 1 through u sub n be sets in the collection tau. Now once again, each set u sub i is either the entire set or is a subset of the set x that does not contain the point P. Suppose that the point P is not in the set u sub i for at least one index i, and in this case the index i ranges from 1 to n, then the point P is not in the finite intersection, and so the finite intersection is a subset of the set X that does not contain the point P. Otherwise, the finite intersection is the entire set which is in the collection tau. So in either case, the finite intersection of subsets in the collection tau is once again in the collection tau. So all three conditions are satisfied and so the collection tau is a topology on the set X which we call the excluded point topology.